Negro, the Yankee Loco, mm -hmm. the one with the hat, the says Yankees and Strip, the round hat. Yeah, it's a Yankee hat. I'm doing that, and I'm gonna do one um, more. Uh, we're doing that. So, Angel, thank you so much for inviting me into the tailor shop. You know, uh, when I was a kid on uh, East 125th Street, there was the A.J. Lester store there. Oh, wow. And, uh, and the guys would pay me to, uh, to sweep out the tailor shop. So that's how I got my experience. I used to come down here to Dapper Dance, but I, I never could go in. I couldn't afford nothing. There. Yeah. <laughs> I would come and look through the window. But you had to wait in line for all the yeah. all the all the all the, all the all big ballers to come out. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So I noticed here that you have a T-shirt or sweatshirt, in fact, yeah. with the image of Muhammad Ali, man. That's uh, pretty phenomenal. That's and this is cool. done with all rhinestones. Yeah, that's this is rhinestones, all different shades to get his face. Right. So you have the the clear, the gray, like a beige, goldish style, and then you have the black for the hair. That was the, and if you go back on it, Sean, this is Joe Frazier. This is the one we did for his daughter. Incredible. And then I made another one just to keep in the showroom. That's for smoking Joe Frazier. Wow. And this is done, and they're called nail heads. Right. Because if you did it, when we did them in the rhinestones, they just didn't look like them. Right. So we did them with nail heads so we can cover the shades you know you see the shades of the brown the gold the the white around his eyes is rhinestones and all the rest is nail heads and you got a pretty good accurate image of him yeah that's the thing i mean we try to make it look just like him but we don't want to put it out you know what i mean right i don't want to send his daughter something that don't look like him you know and you have a, a t-shirt here yeah this, 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 this is the first one we did we tried it on a white shirt, but we think the white took a lot away from it, so we're putting it on a darker garment. Gotcha. I think in a darker garment it looked better. But right. this is the first print we did. Then we did this one, and then we did the, his um, his daughter Jackie Frazier's size, and we did everything. So this is like you know testing it, testing, right. it, checking them. You know, the first one we did, we threw away because I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's trial and error. Yeah, but it took a while. It took me. This design took over three weeks to do. Yeah. And we did three of them. So we did one. The first one was the worst. Then we did the um, the second one started getting easier. And then we put in the machine and we started printing them. And we started, you know, don't let change this. And it, then we got it just right. Muhammad Ali was easy. There's so many pictures of him, you know? Right, exactly. And I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, uh, digging that uh, that Muhammad Ali t shirt you're wearing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It just, I'm a Muhammad, I'm an I'm old fight. It, love old fighters. I'm an old fight. Yeah. Right? Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali, um, Lewis. I mean, one, one time somebody asked me if I had to sew for one fighter, who would I sew for? Sugar Ray Robinson. Yeah. Yeah. Sugar Ray, just to stop. Exactly. You know, he had a bar right around the corner yeah. on 7th Avenue. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Next to the Teresa Hotel. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. So you followed the tradition, man, on so many levels with boxing, with the clothing, and uh, and you're Angel, you're boxing. really an amazing guy, man. And I'm so it. I so love glad. Boxing. boxing saved my life. I've been I was, yeah. I mean, I bought the same gym that I went to get an autograph from Richie Burton. I wound up owning. Yes. I bought it like 21 years ago. I went there to get an autograph when I was 11. I wound up buying the gym. I still own the gym. I'm still there. Incredible. In the Bronx. And the guy whose autograph I got turned out to be one of my best friends. He comes here like twice a week. We just hang out here, we drink, we talk, right. we laugh, and then people walk in and recognize, oh, that's Richie Burton. You know? He retired a long time ago. Yeah. But, uh, man, thank you so very much. I love the stories. I love. I particularly love the stories that we talked about off camera. <laughs> but uh, man, but thank you so much for inviting no me problem. up here, man. Thanks for coming, man. And Thanks for being interested in what we do. Absolutely, man. Take care. Take care.